one mind, two minds, three minds. Sitting quietly, one looks and sees. There is, of course, no escape. It's not political to blame it on Hitler or the bomb. So it's people. A sheep farmer covers his sheep to prevent Sputnik rays. Why did it, does it, will it, associations? One doesn't understand. Not a cup of tea. What's your name? Where are you from? That's not true! To begin, blank. Still a blank. Always a blank. I had mother. Two mothers. Three minds, another. I have only a photograph. An enigma. She went out of her mind, you see. How I act. I was adopted in ignorance, of course. Stop that! Silly girl of mine. Never mind. Mummy loves you, darling. Mummy loves you. Always a good girl, and watching. What did they wish of me? I'll do it. Watching. But somewhere buried. What are you doing? Nothing. Thinking. Worried? No. Where's the centre? What's it? It falls apart. It's a possibility that they're sending currents into my brain. I've got something to tell you. What? We weren't going to tell you. You see that? Oh, no. I should have told you ages ago. I'm very frightened. But we really love you as our own, Julie. You must realize that. But you see, you're not our own child. We adopted you. They could take from me all that I had, You're still mother, nothing. Don't you see? I was safe enough, commenting, fantastic, watching, preserving. My mother went mad. She became sad, it seems, a lot. But she doesn't exist. I saw Barbara today. Oh, yes. She looks well. She looks good. In Fiji, the place called Violola, a man swam out and hit his head on the reef. Five children were sad. Who was to care for them? That is senseless. My mother, my mother, my mother. Which mother? Which mind? Where do you want this? Why don't you go out tonight? All right. Go to a dance. What a nice idea. You need to get out and meet people. Yes. What was my mother like? She used to leave you here before she got sick again. I see. It's very sad, really. She couldn't look after herself, poor thing. What was it they call it? Um... Depression! 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 <laughs> Who's crying? Very touchy. So 
such outbursts to a friend of hers. Oh, I hated it. I did it. Nothing. No. You've got to go to school tomorrow. You're tedious. You're a fire extinguisher. Julie, come to bed. Come to bed. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Will you stop it? I watch. Doing nothing. An invasion out of my control. Hello? Hello. We don't participate, unfortunately, do we? I don't know what you're talking about. Who was it this time? That's my business. I long for the sunshine. Daylight. Go go to bed, right? All right. What are you doing tomorrow? Don't know. Kate invited me over, but I don't know. Well, you should go. A circle, a cycle, one mother, two mothers. Thoughts. If you could stop these thoughts. you let me be? What are you talking about, Julie? I can't remember anything. All I can remember is that first day at school and Peter Arnold. You remember Peter Arnold? He cried all day. Why can't I remember anything? You've smothered it. I've given you everything I could, Julie. You're a knight, you clank. I don't know what's happening to you. How do you say such things? I think we'd better go and see a doctor. I have an appointment to keep.
this is the end, Margaret. I've given you everything, everything you wanted, you ungrateful little beast. And for love of you, oh, oh your father loves you, loves The police on you! Yes, Mother. Are you all right? Fine, thank you. I saw the doctor. He can see you this afternoon. All right. What time? 
Oh, how are we? Sit down. Careful now. Your mother tells Careful me you haven't been too well. You'll penetrate. Strain, perhaps. Too much studying. Yes. Any headaches? Anything like that? One or two. Anything else? I get dizzy sometimes. I see. Have you seen me often? You haven't your eye. Sleeping all right? Not very well. I see. Well, perhaps an examination. Routine. If you could slip out of your dress and lie down in there, I'll be with you in a minute. Right now, breathe deeply. Will he hear? Yes, he'll hear. Shut up. Right now, turn over. I'm over, too. <laughs> Be dead. Be dead. Now, blood pressure? Sit up. Pum, 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 pum. That could crush my mind. Julie could be crushed with that. That can't hear, can it? No. Well, that seems normal enough. Any other symptoms? Pain? My feet are real. Feet are sometimes sore after I've walked a long way. Yes. Well, let me give you these, which will let you sleep. Perhaps calm you down a little. Do you play anything? Do any physical exercise? My body looks after itself. Sometimes I look after a child. Yes. Well, join a tennis club. Go for walks. Plenty of exercise and you'll feel much better. And come back if you don't, all right? Thank you. Escape, escape. Well done. Quickly now, Carl. Safety. Hello. Hello. How are you? Well, I haven't seen you for a while. I'll give you a ring sometime. Yes. See you. You don't participate, do you? But Julie, why don't you give your mother a fair go? She does her best. Try and be a bit kind to her. You have your compensations. Gave me some pills. Did you ever meet my father? He wasn't up to much. He went with other women, didn't he? Talk to her? Yeah. 
she's a bad girl. Where is it? It's a blank. We've done all we can. She should see someone. So the doctor gave her those pills. Once they're in there, they don't come out. Let's just see how she is tomorrow. Her mother. I have to go. Again? Yes. You're so indifferent. We manage. She's such a good girl. Don't get upset. That might help. You gave yourself away that time, didn't you? Silly bitch, Julie. Where were you? When were you? Got out of control, didn't you? It can't hurt. Ten mark, that's all. Drink out of me, I exist. Julie's there. She's real. Isn't she? Not where they can see, stupid. Mind, two minds, in two minds. I was far gone. How little the world knew. Sitting quietly, doing nothing. They would not admit, if only they would confess, but no. You've just done all we can. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, tonight. I got the kid with me. Yeah, keep a warm place for me, eh? A clue. Not a word. Evidence. I don't know. There are no clues. Only the evidence. Sorry, but I can't go on with it. There are others in this world more than I. I haven't the intelligence. Thank you. Well, who are you? Have you been here before? Am I your tutor? I've been once, but I wasn't any good at getting here. Thank you. What's your name? Her name is Julie Jackson. Do you know George Jackson? He was a fighter. I read it somewhere, but he's no relation. Thank well, you. Well, Miss Jackson, uh, 
Are you a member of the uh, drama club, perhaps? She has many interests. What she touches, she destroys. See? We cannot touch what we destroy. I have the hands of a clock. You're Big Ben, then? I'm pie in the sky, and I have four faces. But not all the same. I would like a job, please. I won't be very good at it, but I would like it. They don't know me here. What? Oh, never mind. Phil Latin, he won't find it very interesting. I'm not worth anything interesting. I should cooperate. I'll uh, show you around. You want to do the library course? No, it's not worth it. You're in New Zealand, though. We could be a great nation. Yes. I, um, I presume you read the advertisement in the paper. Oh, um, by the way, which paper did you read it in? We're always interested in that. I should have said New Zealand could be a great nation, except for one or two people. You know, you're right. Those lunches, stoppages every day of the week. Makes you sick. Well, I'm glad you agree. We'll start Monday, then, eh? I suppose I should be working with my head in a book. <laughs> yes, I suppose you could say that. Yeah, that's not bad. Right, then. Monday. Well, we're pleased to have you here. You know, what I reckon they should do is find them. Find them. That's what I reckon. We could find them all and they'd still be unhappy. Yeah, I suppose so. All right then, Monday. <laughs>